Hi Angie. Hi everyone. Uh, thank you for inviting me here today, Angie. I this is only my second time to do one of these, and uh, but it's my first time to do a reading. I have a roaring fire in the background here in my little log house, and I built the fire myself. I have my talisman that I will rub. And right back there, you can't see, but I can, is a long view of the Great Smoky Mountains with Cold Mountain out of sight, but never out of mind. Uh, but those mountains are getting ready to be obliterated by snow. We're getting more snow. I'm gonna read to you a little bit from Secret Graces. It will be out April uh, of this year. So I uh, just thought I'd read just a little bit and I uh, hope you enjoy. Here's my glasses. As you can see, they sit crooked on my head. I guess that means I have one ear that's lower than the other. <laughs> I don't know, I'm such a dweeb. So I better let Virginia Kate take over. I stare out of Mama's kitchen window. Those dance and curtains touch and pull away, touch and pull away, just as Mama had done all her life. Mama's house is emptied of the living, except for me. Grandma Faith rests on a star, tired from her journey back with me. She knows my heart. Open the way for me to begin so I can go on from here to what comes next. After we released Mama into the West Virginia wind and I was left alone with the ghosts, Aiden, my brother, Daddy, lingered in the air at first, like the after shadows that appear when looking at a flash of light that is here and then gone. As breaths of wind will scatter seeds, so they scattered. They'd all asked if I would leave with them, but I am not ready. The West Virginia mountains have again slipped into my blood, down into my marrow, running through me, rising to remind me of who I am and where I came from, my kin and me. I can't let it in yet, the storytelling. Someone quietly calls, Virginia Kate, Virginia Kate. I answer, what do you want? The whispers grow, I can't sort through them. There's more than one. They rise all around me, coming from the mountains, pushing up from the ground, slipping underneath the big rock. From inside my mama's house, down from the lonely house on the hill, rising watery from the creek. All the voices surround me whisper, Virginia Kate, Virginia Kate, and then stay, stay where you belong. I close my eyes. Wind rushes at me and pushes me down into the ground. It's if I'd grow roots and never leave the holler again. The sugar, sugar maple presses harder into my back. There comes an image of me standing under an oak tree clutching a crowd of sunflowers. A Louisiana hot wind blows. It's the day I meet the man who changes the way I see myself, both good and bad. I remember that girl. That girl had been afraid all her life. That girl had tried to pretend she wasn't afraid. And she gained and she lost and she knew she never had what she thought was hers because she never fully gave of herself another bitter pill to swallow in my coffee. There, under the sugar maple, I think of that hot wind, that oak tree as I press my back against it, the sunflowers gripped in my hand, the coming storms. I let myself go back again. It's what I do. I go back and I tell our stories. It's what Grandma Faith taught me, that the stories become real in the telling. I make the stories real. There's a sigh on the wind, the ghosts quiet for a time. They know to let me do what I have to do. I look off to my sweet sister mountain, to all our yesterdays, and then beyond, over the mountain, following creek and river and road, down to the sluggish and eerie swamps. It's come time again to return to what's gone by. And just a little more. I felt like the girls I'd always wondered about, the ones almost kissed in a way that made them lose all their thoughts and all their breath. Grandma Faith whispered, be careful of those before you, little mite. I cattercocked my head to the left to listen to the wind sent down from West Virginia, and I answered, oh, Grandma, he's just a boy. She blew a breath against my cheek to tell me she was right there with me so I'd be safe. I was ornery and tried to shake Grandma Faith away to the far corners of the universe, just as the flames had. 
his mama had. She sighed and sighed but wouldn't leave me no matter how much I shook her away. I slipped inside, closed the door, and then stood at the window. Outside where moonlight and streetlight didn't reach held all manner of unseen things. The ground squirmed with bugs. In the sky flew bats, crawfish inside hidey holes, and in the trees rested birds, and slipping along were critters that came out only in the night since the daylight held nothing for them. My mind kept its tilt world as I pressed my face against the pane and searched. I'd have to keep myself wise and not be like the ones before me, young and foolish and in love and in worse. I'd be the smart one, the one who didn't become trapped. That's what I'd do. I'm Virginia Kate Carey and I'm nobody's fool. Grandma Faye said, there's my girl. Love wise and well, or not at all. And that's our Virginia Kate from Secret Graces. And again, Auntie, thank you so much. And uh, thank everyone else for listening. And uh, I guess I'll be back later on. Mwah, mwah, to you, Angie. Love you all. Thank you so much. Bye.